Hello everyone, this is your educator Priyanka Thakur and I welcome you all to our YouTube channel Guru Mantra Shiksha Ka Granth. Uh, I'm going to teach you life sciences for GATE 2021 and in this video we are going to talk about scopes, exam pattern and new syllabus of GATE 2021. Wait. Are you not going to watch this video anymore just because many of you already know about the uh, scopes exam pattern and syllabus of gate 2021 then please wait watch the video till end i will also be telling you about the detailed syllabus of general aptitude for gate 2021 so that you can prepare yourself well for examination one other thing i want you to uh, i want you promise that I will be doing my best I will be providing you with the best but also want you to promise me that you too will be working hard along with me will you are you saying yes thanks for saying yes let's start it so what is gate it's graduate aptitude test in engineering about four to five years ago many of the students uh, who uh, were pursuing deg their degrees in life sciences didn't know about GATE. They didn't know uh, that they can have GATE scorecard and will be able to get admission in the reputed institution of the country. But today most of all the people know about it and it's a national level test. It is conducted by Indian Institute of Sciences Bangalore and seven IITs which are uh, IIT Delhi, Bombay, Kanpur, Kharagpur, Guwahati, Madras and Roorkee. So these institutes conduct this test on the behalf of National Coordination Board Gate, Department of Higher Education, Ministry of Education and Government of India. So for GATE 2021, the organizing uh, institute is IIT Bombay. Yes, you heard it right. It's IIT Bombay. What after qualifying GATE? What you will be able to do after having a GATE scorecard? So answer to this question is that all of the people, all of the students who will be qualifying GATE 2021 will be able to get admission in the postgraduate courses, masters or your doctoral courses. Uh, if you had completed your bachelor's degree, you will be doing masters or if you had completed your masters, you will be doing your doctoral degree. Fine. Uh, you will be doing your courses from the well reputed institution of this country like IITs and NITs. Along with this, you will be getting the financial assistance to your postgraduate courses. You will get a stipend of 12,500 rupees. If you get admission in the masters, it will be 25,000 rupees for doctoral degree. Many of you in the comment section will comment that ma'am we do not want to pursue any masters any doctoral degree we simply want to earn. So you people can also have the opportunity to earn like you should also crack the gate so that you can earn. You can work under various projects in CSIR labs or you also will be recruited by various PSUs in different public sectors. Okay, you heard me or not? Yes, ma'am. That's great. Okay, so don't think like that. Once you qualify, the GATE examination is for always. It's not like that. The GATE scorecard is valid for three years from the date of announcement of results. If you fail to get admission in any course in any institution of the country within these three years you have to reappear in the gate examination and uh, have to get the scorecard again get it fine let's talk more about gate 2021 it's fully a computer based test okay 
you may be thinking that uh, won't we get any pen or paper for solving the question see you don't need to take it with you you will be provided uh, by the examination center i mean uh, the same uh, like paper and pen will be provided to you by the examination center okay the new thing is that two new subject paper uh, uh, have been introduced one is environmental sciences and engineering the code for this is es and other one is humanities and social sciences in economics english linguistics philosophy psychology and sociology and the code for this is x edge total number of subject paper this year is 27 okay and you are eligible to appear for the exam in two subjects okay get it you will be able to appear in the examination for two subjects that's great what is the eligibility criteria now a candidate who is currently studying in the third year or higher years of any undergraduate degree program or has already completed any government approved degree program in engineering technology architecture science commerce is eligible to appear for gate 2021 examination did you just hear uh, that i say if you have completed your degrees in a commerce or art streams you can appear in the gate 2021 now i know that uh, many of the people who are watching this video right now belongs to either gate biotechnology or uh, life sciences streams but uh, it's your responsibility now to tell your friends to tell the people around you that uh, if they had pursued their degrees in commerce or arts you have to tell them they can appear in the gate 2021 okay but uh, the last date is over now and they cannot uh, apply for it uh, now but uh, you can tell them so that uh, they will prepare themselves for gate 2022 okay they will thank you later and you have to thank me <laughs> okay uh, jokes apart the most important thing is that there is no age limit to appear for gate 2021 and i hope there will not be any uh, upper age limit for uh, gate 2022 as well so why i'm focusing on this point i'm focusing on this point because many of you are having very educated parents they might be doing their respective jobs but you can motivate your parents to give a chance to gate also you can ask them to prepare with you along with you okay not this year but you can prepare them for the next year it will help them to upgrade their knowledge to boost their confidence won't it it definitely will help them so do tell your parents do tell other people's uh, other sorry other people uh, that there is no upper age limit and uh, tell your um, friends that if they are from commerce or art stream just apply for gate 2022 start preparing for gate 2020 so here are the probable dates of examination it will be conducted in february 2021 and the tentative dates are 5th 6th 7th or 12th 13th and 14th february most probably uh, the uh, gate life sciences will be conducted on 5th 6th or 7th february all these are tentative that dates and may be changed due to corona so there will be two sessions forenoon and afternoon each day as i told you that you can appear in the examination for two subjects it may happen that uh, you have to appear for both the subjects on the same day so one paper will be conducted in forenoon session and other will be conducted in afternoon session and the other thing that may happen is that the examination center will be different for both the subjects but do not worry uh, it will be in the same 
city so that you could reach your examination center on time there is nothing to worry about you just focus on your syllabus you just focus on your studies and prepare well for your examination the pattern of question is uh, that there will be entirely ob objective type question uh, multiple question uh, multiple choice question will be there multiple select question will be there and numerical answer type question will also be there if you have knowledge and if you know about the concept you can attempt numerical answer type questions without any hesitation because there will be no negative marking for such question but please if you do not know about the answer just do not attempt multiple choice question because there will be negative mark, mark marking for these questions one by third for one mark question and two by third for two mark question so the exam pattern is like this there will be compulsory sections one is general aptitude it will be containing 15 marks and the chemistry section will be of 25 marks five question will be of one mark and 20 question will be of 20 marks two mark each and uh, from the following you can choose any two either biochemistry, botany, microbiology, geology and food technology. Each one of them will be of 30 marks. 10 questions will be of 1 mark each and 10 will be of 2 marks each. So 10 into 1 uh, equals 10, 10 into 2 equals 20, 20 plus 10 becomes 30. Okay, so which subject, which portion you should select i will tell you about this in uh, my next video so wait for that video i will be telling you about the strategy how to prepare for gate 2021 it will be the genuine one i won't be faking in my videos i will tell you the genuine strategy that i follow to crack my gate exam in 2029 okay so uh, here is the general aptitude portion which, which you should prepare to score more in your examination. Uh, verbal aptitude include basic English grammar which further will include tenses, articles, adjectives, prepositions, conjunctions, verb, noun, agreement and other parts of speech. Basic vocabulary will include words, idioms and phrases in context they may ask you the synonyms of different words they will be reading and comprehensions narrative sequencing uh, sequencing a quantitative aptitude will include data interpretation data graphs there will be bar graphs pie charts and other graphs representing data two and three dimensional plots maps and tables will be there Numerical competition and estimation will include ratios, percentages, powers, exponents and logarithms, permutations and combination and series. There will be mensuration and uh, geometry. It's not mensuration, it's mensuration. Uh, it actually uh, includes geometry. There will be some geometrical type question in this. Elementary statistics and probability. And analytical aptitude include logic, uh, deduction and induction, analogy, numerical relations and reasoning. Last one is spatial aptitude. It will include transformation of shape, uh, translation, uh, which is not protein synthesis, obviously, rotation, scaling, mirroring, assembling and grouping. Paper folding, cutting and pattern in two and three dimensions will also be there. If you get any question related to any of these uh, subjects, I mean uh, any of uh, these topics, you can attempt that question. It will help you to score more in your examination. I'm repeating myself. It will help you to score more in the examination. Okay, so that's all for today. Uh, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Guru Mantra Shikshaka Grant. Join us on uh, Telegram uh, Guru Mantra. Our channel is Guru Mantra. Join, also join us on Facebook 
join our facebook page visit our website and for more queries please mail us on tanija neha official at gmail.com you can also call us on this number and you can have the links to all these channel in our description box please wait for the next video as i told you i will share with you the genuine strategy to crack the gate 2021 thank you stay safe stay healthy and stay tuned